What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we actually went through Route 214, I believe. Got a few things done, and now it is finally time for us to fly over to Route 210, because yes, that's the more mature way to do so. Now, what's up at Route 210? As you can see, it is being covered by a few Psyducks. Yes. Bless me. Anywho being blocked by a few Psyducks. We got a secret medicine from our girlfriend, uh, I forgot her name. <laughs> yeah, we got a, uh, we got a, we got a, yes, we got a, a potion from a, a girlfriend, and now we actually have to fly over there, that way we can explore some more of what goes on near that area, if you guys, if it makes any sense. So, let's go ahead and use the fly technique, let's go ahead and, let's see, closest, nope, we can't fly there, but we can fly to Salacion Town. Okay, the Lacey on town, what's up? How you doing? Here we are. Back in Salacey on town, and well, as you guys can see, you guys love the threads. Yes, we changed up the threads just uh, for this occasion right here, and now it is finally time for us not to do that, but it is finally time for us to actually move on and... Oh, wow. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, so we've already battled every single one of these guys. And what we're talking about is the Psyduck right here. These little suckers have been, you know, they, they, they haven't been moving. Now, we could push them, but they will use their psychic powers against us. Now, yes, let's go ahead and give the secret medicine to these guys. And yes, the chronic headaches are going away. And just like that, these Psyducks are just like running around everywhere. And he's like, wait for me. Psych -ay -ay. And well, I guess just like that. Our girlfriend Cynthia's looking at us and she's like, Oh good! Can you use the secret medicine I gave you. Psyduck are known to suffer from chronic headaches, but no one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches. Oh yes, can I ask another big favor? Whatever you want, baby. I want you to deliver the old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. I know that there are some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it would be worth your while to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is worth our while. So here we are. Grabbing the old charm, my grandma has uh, this sort of bossy air about her. I think you'll recognize her right away. Yes, I'm sure you will. She's, a, she's the elder of Celestic Town. As for the location, a look on your town map. You can't miss it. Okay, I'm counting on you. See you again down the road. Okay, alrighty. And, well, just like that, we are... I guess it's nighttime, so... It's a good thing that we got, a. Uh, we're stocked up on repels and... You know, all that stuff because, uh, yeah, I definitely don't want to take on some more, some more wild Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and start using some repels first, then go straight to the, the super repels. And look at that, a 14th super repel, or yeah. And Trevor John, shout out to Trevor John, you know, playing the game. And I believe there are ninjas around here. Yeah, there are ninjas around here. Now, later on down the road, you will be able to. It's going to get foggy, and the good thing is that we want our fourth badge, meaning that we'll be able to actually defog this whole area. But what we're going to do first is we're going to actually grab some items and then battle the people. You can actually tell where these ninjas are at, and, well, might as go for it right now while we're at it. And let's go ahead and start off with Ultra, Ultra Psycho right here. As you can see, he popped out. I'm one of the ninja trio. Being discovered means I must battle. You don't say. Okay. So here we go, taking on a, a battle ninja. We're a ninja boy. His name is Brennan, and he's coming out with a Zubat right here. Okay. Alrighty. Ultra Seiko, get ready to just knock his block off right here. Now, again, don't get used to my team. You're not getting used to my team because, yes, I, I will be switching out some Pokemon teams, and I don't know why I did that. Ah, because of that. Astonish, not so effective. Super effective, but yes. But here we go with the Psycho Cut. And Psycho Cut does the trick. Zubat is defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. And, well, more experience for all of us here. He comes out with a Skaroopy. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Infernomon. Okay. Infernomon ready to go. And what do we have here? 
Skaroopy. Now, Skaroopy was like, I actually had had it in mind to actually use a Skaroopy. I like its evolutionary form. It's pretty strong. It's very, very strong. The thing is that it's, well, it's a dark and bug type Pokemon at the end of the whole thing, but you know. When was the last time you guys have actually seen me use like a pure uh, poison type Pokemon? It's been a while, it has been. So there we go, Brennan has been defeated. And uh, that's $500 for us. Yes, okay. And here's the third guy, or second guy right here. And he's gonna be like, I'm one of the ninja trio. Being discovered means I must battle. Same thing. Same Delio right here. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Ninja boy Fabian wants to battle. Coming with the Geodude right here. And, well, I think I chose correctly. I look good in those strides. I look like I'm glowing in the dark. To be quite honest, yeah. So let's see, let's go straight for a psychic attack right here. And this psychic attack does the trick. Does the dealio. Look at that. Okay. And just like that, Rosemond grows to level 37. And he's coming out with the Geodude. So let's go straight to Lucky. Lucky deserves a little bit of love. I did I did pick Lucky for a reason, because it's both a ground and water type Pokemon. And Albia is a, it is a bit slower. It is a little slower, but it actually can help out right here. So here we go, Aqua Tail does the trick. There goes Geo, dude. And there we go. Yeah, okay. And coming out with another Geo, dude. Let's go right ahead and uh, do this little onslaught of uh, you know tail whips and tail uh, Aqua Tails. Look at that, Aqua Tail Geo, dude defeated. Okay, alrighty. And just like that, Ninja Boy Fabian has been defeated. Okay. Let us uh, move along right here. There's a third ninja right here. And yes, let's go ahead and use another repel. Again, guys, bring your uh, bring your repels. I cannot stress that uh, cannot stretch uh, cannot stress that enough. So here we go. Ninja Boy Bruce wants to battle, and he's got one Pokemon. It's gonna be a big one right here, and it is Stunky the Stunky Pokemon. So let's go with Ultra Psycho now. I do not think Stunky is a... I do not think Stunky is a Dark-type Pokemon. Yeah, it has no effect. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out. Let's see. Let's go with Kid Thunder right here. Kid Thunder ready to go. Kid Thunder ready to destroy. Oh, damn. And, well, here comes the Fury Swipes attack. But no effect, here we go, Thunder uh, Punch, ready to go, and just like that, Stunky has been defeated. Oh yes, oh yeah, and just like that, we have defeated another Ninja Boy, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, very, very cool. Okay, so let us move on right here, as you guys can see, we're going to be going north right here, and as you go north, you're going to be seeing a little bit of a difference. It starts getting very foggy, like super foggy. Good thing is that we got that we defeated a gym leader that can actually enable us to defog. So let's go, god dang it, let's go right ahead and pick that up. So Staraptor, please defog everything. There we go. Okay, so that that right there takes care of that situation. Now remember guys, um, if you choose to go around this area, it, yeah, if you choose to go around this area without helping, it, without defog, it's gonna be a very, very difficult time. It really is. Mainly because you won't be able to see where you're at. Um, and then while in battle, your accuracy goes down, and I mean way down. So just, just hey, come on, come on, be cool. Use the, uh, use the default, come on. And, well, there we go. Taking on the Zubat, the Zubat attack, okay. And some of my Pokemon are loving the way they look right here. So let's go Psychic attack. Now, I completely forgot that you can actually walk with your Pokemon. So that's probably what I need to do with Reaper or Quagsire, just so I could actually like me a little. That and Ultra Psycho, or no, not Ultra Psycho, but uh, Kid Dunda right here. And yes, look at that. We are in love with the Pokemon. And, well, coming out with a Skaroopy. Let's go with Infernomon. Infernomon, ready to destroy. Ready to destroy. Here we go. Alrighty, alrighty. Bring it. Just bring it, sucker. So 
So let's go with a flame wheel. No need to waste up on our best attacks right here. Flame wheel does the trick. Say goodbye to Skoropi. And yes, our Pokemon are loving us. They're loving us intensely. Yeah, buddy. And look at that. Kid Thunder grows to level 35. It's a good addition to the team. And well, he's coming out with another Zubat. So let's just continue on right here. Now, I've said this in a few episodes, guys. I'm recording these five episodes all in one day. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> you hear my voice a little hoarse, yeah. It's because of, uh, yeah, didn't get COVID, but I got a nasty cold. Got the test. It was pretty, uh, <laughs> it's pretty scary to say the least because it was like, you know, this Omicron variant is going around and it's just messing up everybody. So I'm going to say it right here, guys. Be safe. Please be safe. Uh, yeah. You don't want to get sick off of somebody's uh, stupidity or anything like that. Just, just be safe out there, guys. And, uh, let's see. I'm not saying go get back to the area. You can just be safe. <laughs> and, well, look at that. There it is. The Ninja Boy defeating it. Alrighty. And, well. Let's see. Is there anything else? No. And a, and a good thing is that we have the cut technique right there on our hidden moves. Yes, we're going to use another one. And, well. I don't know why I still have that thing on, but. While it's there, let's go ahead and cut this little sucker. There we go. Cutting that little sucker, and we're going to be moving on. And there is no hidden item except this is just a way to skip the Pokemon right here. And there is a cool, there's a few cool trainers around here, guys. So just keep in mind that this is not going to be an easy road to go. And, <laughs> oh, wow. As an ace trainer, I have to take battles in stride. I need to stay cool and calm whether I win or lose. Get on say. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on Ace Trainer Alyssa. And I guess the cool the cool pose is to stand and turn your back and look behind. I think that's a cool pose. And we picked correctly. We got Lucky right here. Alright, Lucky. Get me Lucky right here. Aqua Tail for the win. And oh crud. Completely forgot that Lucky's still slow as you know what. And well, we got burned. Ain't that great? Ain't that fantastic? And with that, well, like with being burned, obviously, you know, we're gonna, you know, our our our, well, we're gonna, our attack goes down a little. And right now we're getting rocked. And uh, yeah, we haven't. Yeah, this is the reason why I kind of don't like Aqua Tail because it's just like you miss. Like it says, ninety percent of the time you you hit him. And. It kind of feels like 50. Look at that. It feels like 50%, which is ridiculous. And, well, let's go right ahead and do this again. And this is getting ridiculous. Okay, come on. Bam. Okay, alrighty. So, that is that right there. Got to heal up on my Pokemon, which is ridiculous. And, uh, well, we're getting burned. Burned to a crisp. And, well... About to come out with a grottle, so let's go right ahead and go straight for Infernomon. And just do this and that. Okay, so Infernomon, let's go. Hmm. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Let's get it. Flamethrower attack for the win. And just like that, bam! Grottle defeated. Oh yeah, Grottle. Now, I could have chosen Grottle, but yeah, I don't know what prevented me from doing that. I think it was a vote. Yeah, it was a vote. So there goes Alyssa. She is not happy. Now we got to heal up our, our Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. Let's go right here. Actually, wrong one. Thankfully, we have, uh, we have uh, whatchamacallit, Burden Heals. Oh, wrong guy. There we go. And now we're fully healed. And what is next? Okay, so let's go ahead and swap out Pokemon right here. Let's go with Kid Thunder because I have a feeling it's going to be a double battle. So let's go right ahead and take two at once. I'm not going to read what they're saying. I'm just going to... Uh -huh. I'm just going to have to defeat these guys right here. Now, there's a reason why I've chosen both Lucky and, and Kid Thunder. It's very simple, guys. <laughs> One doesn't get affected by the electric move. So it's going to be good, a good, good, good matchup right here. And, well, you gotta love the whole uh, intimidation. Okay, so here we go. Let's go. 
with Aqua Tail to this guy, and let's go with a discharge to every single one of these people. And it doesn't affect Lucky, but it does affect everybody else. And just like that, Gyarados has been defeated. Holy crap, holy bejeebus. Alrighty. And Lucky grows to level 29, which is great. And here comes a Thunderbolt attack. And I'm thinking, well, it's about to hit my Pokemon, but... <laughs> or I was about to hit uh, my, whatchamacallit, uh, my Lucky right here. So let's go ahead one more time. And let's go with a Fire Punch just to finish off this Raichu right here. So here we go. Fire Punch for the win. And uh, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. Pennywise goes level 35, which is great. And yes, the Double Trouble team has lost right here. Okay, now... Okay, so there is something that has been getting at me right now. We should probably address it. And that is that Lucky needs a, a better move. Another ground type move. So, let's see if I have multiples of it. Let's see. This is a toxic. Wait, really? Everybody can... Not everybody can learn it. Huh. And here we got Bullet Seed. Uh, work Up. Here we got Sunny Day. Uh, taunt. Ice Beam. I could, wait, I think you can buy that. I think you can. Yeah, I think you can. So, uh, we'll save that for a little bit later. Let's see, I don't think I, I don't think I should be using Ice Beam on Lucky just because you know it's not a not a uh, special attack right here. Let's go to its strengths rather than its weaknesses and all that stuff. So this is a low sweep that doesn't work. Psychic. Look at that. Get Thunder Connection, learn Psychic. It's tempting, but I don't want to waste it on it. So let's see. Shockwave. Shockwave. Oh, wow. Uh, Flamethrower. Not everybody can learn it. Rock Tomb. We can actually use Rock Tomb for lucky. If we're, yeah, if we're lucky enough. <laughs> let's see. Volt Switch. <coughs> oh, damn. Wait, you mean to tell me that it can't learn Brine? That's bull. Okay. Attract. There you go. Aerial Ace is a good move. Uh, Trick Room. We got Thief. Wow, we only got one Dig attack. And that's what I was kind of thinking. that Maybe I should teach it Dig. Let's see. Steel Wing. Roost. Drain Punch. We got Bug Buzz. And then Payback. And then Recycle is another good move. Uh, Flash. Swords Dance. We can teach it that. Uh, Stealth Rock. Damn. There's not a lot of moves that, the, that that Lucky can learn. Wow. Grass Knot. Uh, Swagger he can learn. Pluck. U-Turn. Substitute. Wait, Substitute? Yeah, he can learn. Cut. Fly Attack. Um, strength. Oh, yeah, we can learn Strength. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and teach it Strength. We do have three of those little suckers. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take away, let's take away Slam, because it's not... Super accurate. We need something physical for this Pokemon. And let's see, there's Defog. And that is Rock Smash. Screw it. You know what? Let's see. Actually, let's go right ahead. A number. So we got this, but I'm looking for something else. Rock Team. Huh. 95% accurate. But let's go right ahead and give it to Lucky. Probably the only time we'll give. Something like that to it. So let's go ahead and give... Let's take away Haze for, for the time being. I mean, I wanted to put in Dig, but I kind of feel like we can... Like, if we can uh, actually buy Dig at, at Veilstone, then I'll actually give it to him. I gotta check it. But in the meantime, let's just go with what we got. So here we go. You seem to have a lot of confidence. Let's see how, if it's justified. Alright, it's justified. I promise it's justified. So, here we go. Ernest wants the battle. And... Here he comes out with Mothim now. What are the odds? Seriously, what are the odds that I pick a correct, like I, I teach it a correct move that I need? Let's go with Rock Doom. And yes, we are fast enough. Look at that. We are fast enough to attack this Pokemon. Rock Doom for the win. Okay, so this feels right. This feels good. This is actually, uh, <laughs> this is like, oh, look at that. And it, it got to level 30. All right. And it's coming out with a Lucio now. Yeah, this is the reason why I need a cut. Or no, not cut, but you know. You know, you guys know what I mean. Dig. 
Earthquake teaches Dig, but what level does it learn Earthquake? Let's see. Now, I'm going to check it out while I'm uh, doing this right here. So, let's see. There is a Luxio. Now, remember, we do have a Luxio in our team. Or, you know, we had one in our team and all that. So, let's go right ahead and use the... Let's go right ahead and use the Giga Drain attack. There we go. Giga Drain. Go Trick. Yeah, buddy. Okay, all right. And, well, let's see. We get more experience points. And he's coming out with an Onyx. So we're just going to keep it right here with, uh, with our good old buddy. And uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where is Quagsire? Is Quagsire even in the Pokedex right now? I don't know. Oh, yeah. There it is. All right. So here we go. Quagsire. Quagsire. Here we go. Landed a critical hit. And it's being loved. Look at that. Oh, wow. And say goodbye to that Pokemon. And, well, I'm trying to see what kind of moves it learns. And, wow! Level 52, it learns Earthquake. That is some BS right there. 52, guys. We have to wait friggin' 22 levels. Might as well just teach it Dig right now. Damn. Yeah, it's probably what I'm going to be doing. All right, let's go on our bike. See what this is all about right here. And, oh, there's somebody waiting for us right there. You know what? Let's no, let's no go on the... That and you know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for a dig attack. Let's make Lucky a little bit stronger because you know I want to give it an advantage. So let's go ahead and take away Yawn. If we find uh, what was it called? If we find those, if we find those heart scales, then eventually you know we can actually do something about the special attacks and stuff. Okay, so here we go. A ninja can use all sorts of cool techniques. That's cool. But I can use different techniques, even cooler techniques. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on uh, Davey, and he's coming out with his disc talk, so probably a good thing. Probably a damn good thing that I did. Um, I, I taught Lucky quite a few good moves right here. So let's go Rock Tomb attack, and well, here comes a Vanna Shock attack. I think, yes, I think Lucky is, uh, yeah, it, it is fitting really well into this team right here. So let's go, Strength. And here comes a Light Screen. Good thing for us, we're using a physical attack. So here we go, Strength attack. Bam! Hits it pretty hard. And there goes... There goes another Pokemon right there. And we are getting some levels on our Pokemon. Look at that, Rosemon, level 38. And Davey has been defeated. He's not so happy about that crud. Oh, yeah, he's not. Okay, so let's see. Follow this little line right here. And, wow, we can actually cross this, break it. Alrighty, okay, so grab this. And we found ourselves the TM30 Shadow Ball. And that is a tempting move to use for quite a few Pokemon, to be quite honest. Now, let's go right ahead and continue our exploration. Let's go ahead and start battling some more people. Let's go ahead and swap this guy out and go with Pennywise and see what this guy wants. This buff physique isn't just for show. Oh yeah. So what is it? Alright, here we go. Taking on another Pokemon trainer right here. And well. Look at that. Okay, so he's coming out with his macho right here, so Pennywise. Let's go. Now I probably should have taught it Aerial Ace. Or some kind of flying type attack. Probably what I should have done, but no, I got Psychic Attack right here, so there we go, Psychic, going to do its trick. There we go, there we go, and Macho has been defeated. Okay, alright, and Ultra Psycho level 39. Man, we are, we are buffing up our Pokemon right here, doing the tricks, we are making things happen. Alright, let's see, is there any items right here? No. But there are Pokemon trainers down there, and yes, obviously, we gotta get surprised by this guy right here. Ugh. Now, I was saying this before, guys, that the Sinnoh region happens to be, like, it, it, it really isn't my favorite region. And I think, I think it's because of how, like, you know, Pokemon uh, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum just, they, they were slow. They were pretty slow, guys. Uh, everything took its time. Even doing it on the emulator, like, oh, computer, it, it took its time. And it, it just, you know, I think that's what really made me uh, kind of hate it. 
kind of don't, you know, because you, you guys can tell, like, in my Pokemon uh, Platinum Walker, that, like, I was, like, not really into the game. It was just, uh, you know, I gotta get it done so I can get to the next game, which would be Pokemon Black. And, holy crud. Um, I'm looking at this game right now. I like the changes that they made, some of the changes. I mean, it's not a lot of changes. But I, I, I still feel as though that the brand new game that's coming out on the 28th is going to be like the expansion pack for this game as, you know, Pokemon and Sword and Shield were like, you know, the, the Crown Tundra and all that stuff. And let's see, grab that. Uh, one of the one of the things that really that really got messed or that really got changed was like the Pokemon League. You really have to be strategic about how you play play these leagues now. It's not you know just easy go and go and all that stuff. Um, I think that's one of the things that I liked about these changes and all that. But you know the Sinnoh region itself, so much potential, so a lot of great things that you can do right there. But just like you know, still I'm not too convinced about you know. Playing, playing in it. I'm just doing this because, obviously, because I can. I'm up to date with all the other the YouTubers out there and stuff. And here comes an extra sensory, and that right there messes up my Pokemon just a little bit. All right, here we go. Psychic attack. Psychic attack does its trick. Look at that. Hoo hoo. Not feeling good about it. Mm -hmm. And well, Noctowl's coming out, so let's go straight to Kid Thunder right here. Another thing that I kind of don't like about the Sinnoh region. I don't know. I don't know what what else. I mean, after the game is done, uh, I think in Pokemon Platinum, like the the extra place that you have to go to. Is, there's so many trainers, a lot more trainers, a lot more of everything. It kind of gets a little annoying. I don't know why. And there we go. Lucky grows level 31. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. And, well, let's see. Alright, so that's another trainer down. I, am I close to being done right here? Probably. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, yes we are. We are close. Very close. Actually, we, we can get off the bike now. Yeah, I wanted to, like, sneak by him, but that's probably not going to happen right there. So let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. Here we have a uh, veteran, Brian. And he is looking like a veteran. Yes, he is. Okay. What else is there that I kind of don't like about the Sinnoh region? Actually, there is one one good thing about the Sinnoh region that I do like, or the Sinnoh the Sinnoh games, and that is Team Galactic, the the leader. He is genuinely like one of the scariest guys in the game because wow, he really wants to destroy the world. He really wants to just like you know restart everything, and you know he you know he's using his uh, his cohort. As little pawns just to get to what he wants. That that right there is just like you know that's what I like. Probably what you know some of these other team you know these, these teams should be you know. There we go and traffic's coming out right there. You know let's keep it right here. That's exactly what this you know that's exactly what it should be. It's just that god dang god freaking dang. I wonder if there's a distortion world right here in this game. I haven't gotten that far guys. Like, well here comes the side of the Pennywise got hit pretty hard right there, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight for a Lucky. Alrighty. Let's go for a Lucky now. I wonder what kind of variety we can actually use uh, do for this whole thing right here. And I don't know what kind of move that is. But let's go right ahead and go with a Dig Attack. And yes, this guy is stomping a mud hole on us. So here we go with a Dig Attack from Lucky. This right here, hopefully, will be redemption for Lucky in all its games. I mean, I did use it in Pokemon, our gold, crystal, and all that stuff. I haven't finished with it. Should be its redemption. I hope so. I want it to be. And, wow, nearly grows a level right there. We have defeated veteran Brian. And, well, just like that. Oh, yes. Okay, so we grab some berries right here. Now, there are other trainers around here. Um, actually, other items that we can actually get right here, but unfortunately, we... We need a we need a few uh, other HMs to actually get to them. Um, hopefully, hopefully by the next episode we will be able to actually like you know get the surf technique. I think we should, but we have to actually win another badge, which is ridiculous. 
And well, that is that right there for grabbing berries. And we are finally here. Holy bejeebus. Look at that, guys. Celestic Town. Alrighty, so you guys already know what the business is. We're finally in Celestic Town. And you know what? I'm gonna explore it right now because it's very small. There's not a lot of things that you know you can actually find, okay? So this is Celestic Town, and if you see an old lady right there. There's an odd spaceman in front of this ruins. There isn't anything there, but only seem to make him angry. He's saying he will blow, uh, blow the town up with a bomb. The nerve of it all! If only I were younger, I'd punish that spaceman with my Pokemon. Oh wow, she's about to whoop some butt right here. Now, before we do any kind of whooping of the butts, let's see. Yeah, we we we, we are going to we're, we're going to explore this little town right here now. I would have. Just taking one little episode and explored everything, but eh, I kind of feel like we, we need to switch that up. I must bear down and train for that time and important. Therefore, I have no need to for a watch. Take this from me, and we get ourselves an analog watch Poke app. And uh, this displays the current time. Huh. I think that's it. I think we already had it! What the heck? Yeah, I think we already had it. I don't know why you... Yeah. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, something's wrong. Uh, oh, that. Yeah, we already had something like that. Never mind. Okay, so let's take this off. Let's move on. Let's see. There's nothing right there. Um, obviously, this place is very, very small, so you won't be finding a lot of... Uh, well, this is a shop right here, and if you want to go and buy some healing items, this is the place to go. And as you can see, there there's a wide array, uh, wide, wide arrangement of, of stuff that you can actually get. And if you talk to this guy right here, he'll actually sell you some specified balls, I believe. I, yeah, I don't have, yeah, I don't have many of these, so I'm gonna actually get them after, you know, after we're done right here. And what else? What else? Let's see. Oh yes, this big old house right here. Alrighty, so what does this house have to do? Okay, so if you talk to this lady, this lady right here, she's like, my big sister is studying the, the myths of Pokemon. She wants to know how people and Pokemon interacted in the days of myths. Were things different back then, or were they the same as now? She says that's the focus of her research. Hmm, one of her sister could be. Where are you from? Hmm, Twin Leaf Town, you say? Isn't that close to Lake Variety? That lake is said to be home of Mesprit, the being of emotion. It must be looking over you. You'd think. Okay, so let's see. It's an old book. You began reading it. When po or when that Pokemon was born, intelligence bloomed among us, enriching our lives. When that Pokemon was born, emotion bloomed among us, giving us joy and sorrow. When that Pokemon was born, willpower bloomed among us, spurring us into action. I kind of feel like that's a Bible of some sort. I kind of feel like that. Okay, so that is that. And howdy, studying up in local history? Yes, I am, kinda. And let's see, what do we got right here? Talk to this lady. If I climb the top of Mount Coronet, will I be able to see all of Sinnoh? Probably. Mount Coronet towers at the center of Sinnoh. In a way, it's the closest place to the sky in the, in this region. I'm telling you guys, I really am telling you, Pokemon Arceus is going to be like the expansion pack to to this game right here. Now, there is a gentleman right here trying to blow up the city, so let's go right ahead and uh, use our good old Pokemon ready to destroy this guy right here. This town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with this galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with the Pokemon battle. So, what's it going to be? Are you going to mess with me? Fuck yeah. You dare to oppose Team Galactic? That means you're taking on, taking on the world! No, the universe even! Wow. <laughs> okay, alright, well. Here we go, taking on the Team Galactic Grunt. He's bringing the whole universe with us. Oh my god. The whole universe. So here we go, Infernomon ready to just wreck things. And, well, yes, we are in sync. Not like the band, but in sync. So here we go. There we go. Flame will attack. Flame will attack. Does its trick right there. And, well, there goes a beauty fly. Wow. Wow. The whole universe, really. 
And welcome to the level 40 Club Inferno Mon. And well, Pennywise is growing level 2 right there. Look at that. And it's learning Destiny Bond. Now, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to teach a Destiny Bond. And I'm actually going to take away the the, the Swallow kind of... Or not the Swallow, but just build up the other technique. Because I really don't need it. So let's go straight for Ultra Psycho. And hopefully I can, I can actually... Hopefully it can actually... You know... Hopefully it, it actually grows to level, uh, what you would call it, level 40 by this battle right here. So, Kroger Anticipations, and well, here we go. Let's go with a Psychic Attack right here. And here comes the Sucker Punch. That really hits us pretty good. And well, Ultra Psycho going with the Psychic Attack, and that right there destroys Kroger. Look at that. Not feeling so good about it anymore, huh? No, you're not. And well... We defeated the Team Galactic Grunt, and he's like, I just got worked over, and by a kid no less. You really did. <laughs> okay. Too much to handle. Whatever. I'm out of this one-horse town. There's nothing here to, uh, to anyways. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, so we defeated this guy, and, well, guess who comes by right here? Grandmama. Well, aren't you quite the trainer? That was magnificent. Magnificent. As the Elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm. May I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with, the, with it to deliver to me? That's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. And yes, we handed over the old charm to her. Yeah, buddy. It was made in honor of the mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. These old charms are still discovered now and again. Since you're in Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? Whatever you say, Grandmama. <laughs> okay. So, let's go right ahead and take a look at this place right here, and it, it really is nothing. There really is nothing that you can actually find right here, except for this one thing. Click on it. You examine the ancient cave painting. Mysterious designs covered a whole section of the wall. There are three strange beings forming a triangle. In the middle of them is a shining sphere. What is this all about? And Grandmama is right here. She's like, the cave painting reminds me of an old story. There existed a being. A being is so powerful, it was considered a deity at the time. Opposing the, this being were three Pokemon. The three kept bounds with one, as if they formed a triangle. It's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told to this day in Celestic Town. Oh yes, I found something useful. You should, use, you should take these. They belong to my granddaughter, but she's not using them. And we get ourselves the TM95. Guess what, guys? That's right, it's Surf. And we get the Surf on our hidden app, which is good, but we can't use it yet because, well, we still have to win another badge. The user controls a huge wave, drags everything around it, except for the user itself, and attacks. And my granddaughter said something about... What was it? Oh, yes! You can use Surf from your Pokétech to cross the water, such as seas and rivers. To use that hidden machine or hidden move in the field, however, you must first attain the Heart Home City Gym, or the Gym Badge. On that matter, you will have to handle it yourself, I'm afraid. Oh, crud. There's always a goddamn catch. Always a goddamn catch. So, we got the Surf technique, guys, but we still have to win another badge, which I'm assuming... We are now enabled to. I'm just saying. I really am just saying. Okay, so... Oh. There appears to have been a significant struggle here. Everyone should step back and view things from a bigger perspective. Yes, a bigger perspective. One that is on a universal scale. My name is Cyrus. I seek the power to create a new world. A world without strife. However... That power seems to be unavailable here. We've met before, yes? It was at Mount Coronet. If you discover any power derived from the Legends of Sinnoh, inform me. Uh, okay. For that power is what I need to create my world, my new world. Oh wow, this guy, yeah, yeah. He's scary. Scary AF. Anywho, that is it, guys. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Defeat Fantina at Heart Home City. Yes, okay, so the next episode, you guys already know. We're going to be going in for a gym battle. We're going to be kicking some butt, taking some names. Is this uh, the mama? 
We're bringing it a place far out, beating it down. Da 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 da. Okay, yeah. What about her? Say da 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 da. Okay. Anywho, here we are, guys. We're gonna stop right here. Um, I know I've probably said it quite a few times on, on a few episodes here or there, but I just keep on coming back, just battling people. Um, so I have not touched anything on my Pokemon uh, Shining Pearl uh, game mainly because I've been so goddamn busy. So, what's going to happen is there's going to be a lot of training, a lot of training, training and trading. Don't be too surprised if you see new Pokemon here and there. I'm trying to coincide with the Pokemon game. I know some of you guys are asking to like make a non-narrated version of the Shining Pearl game, which I, I, I will at some point, guys. At some point, it will happen. It's just you guys got to give me some time. Um, but right now, I'm just trying to get to know the game just a little bit better. That way, I can better record these for you guys. So, we'll, we'll, we'll end up seeing what happens. But thank you guys again for watching. I keep on saying this every single time now. But stay safe out there, guys. Hopefully nothing else happens right here from here on in. And I will see you guys in the next episode as we go ahead and uh, battle for our fifth badge. See you guys.